Oh boy, we are in big trouble. I got sent an article, interesting article I thought, um, because it's in my neighborhood a couple miles away, about Jack Phillips from Masterpiece Cake again. Uh, Supreme Court, most people know, they said he didn't have to make a gay wedding cake because he's a Christian. But now the Colorado Department of Regulatory Agencies says he has to make a transgender cake. Blue on the outside, pink on the inside, or some other th crap like that. So, I mean, maddening enough that they're trying to persecute this Christian guy for his beliefs again after the Supreme Court ruled that they couldn't do it. But what was interesting to me, I read a little bit and thought a little bit about this, is that this clearly shows how we have two separate forms of government running at the same time. We have what people would call a constitutional government, and then we have an administrative government. And they're not the same thing by any stretch. Go look up the Administrative Procedures Act of 1946, and you'll see they created a fourth branch of government, as was said on the Senate floor when they voted on it. So it's a complete violation of the original laws of the land. And if that doesn't piss you off or make you think that everything that you, every fishing license you purchased, every driver's license you purchased, is a complete violation of our original intended constitution, if we can't change it, then we just have to wake up to that fact and admit the horror that we live in a pretty much a communist country. If you saw the 10 planks of the Communist Manifesto video I did, whether it was on Reel.video or the other place, um, take a quick look and tell me I'm wrong. We've got these people who are regulating how businesses interact with peop with citizens, not people because that's constitutional, with citizens under their administrative state, then they're all appointed by a governor. And that governor is allegedly elected by us, but when the appointee's term is the same time as the politician, then we have no recourse on those appointees. You can say, yeah, vote out the governor, but those people are still in there. And I don't know if you've been to Colorado or seen our politics. When people register as an independent or unaffiliated, it's just because they don't want to get the phone calls. The vast majority of people in administrative government are either progressives, Democrats, or communists. And I say we need to go back and actually not stand down or listen to this or whatever, but take it to them. If you're upset with the commission, the Civil Rights Commission, contact them. I'll provide links um, in the description. And I'll provide links to the story. But if we sit back and just let them run roughshod over Christians, whether you're Christian or not, they're running roughshod over liberty. And I, I think we're at that point in this nation where we've seen enough of that. So I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments, I'd like to hear them. You can share it. If you subscribe, we'll get more views. We'll keep telling the truth as best we can. I appreciate your time and have a great day.